Hi everyone, Father Seth here for some Wednesday Wisdom for Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. Uh, I am back from retreat. Uh, it was a good retreat. Bishop Gaynor gave a wonderful uh, uh, reflection uh, and time for prayer. I was able to reconnect with some old friends and just have some downtime. So it was a great experience overall at St. Charles Seminary in Philadelphia. Uh, over the past uh, busy things going on these past couple days, uh, Father Rune is on vacation and will be taking up residence in Forest City very shortly. Uh, we say goodbye to Deacon Michael Boris, who is uh, taking a few uh, weeks off before he starts back to school. But we're welcoming Father Joe Mosley, who is here with us now and starting to take masses. So a lot going on here in Carbondale. Uh, we uh, in the office are in the process of uh, working on a new phone system. Um, so there's some new, uh, when you call in, there's a new prompt on the phone. Uh, we're still trying to work out some of the bugs and some of the kinks uh, as this phone system is a little bit more advanced than the previous one. Uh, I'd like to thank Alex from Icon Tech uh, for his great help and guidance with this new phone system. Uh, we do have a finance council meeting tonight, uh, Wednesday, August the 3rd, uh, at 6 o'clock for Our Lady of Mount Carmel and at 7 o'clock for St. Rose here at St. Rose's Rectory. Uh, just uh, to go over the budgeting for next year and to look at the year and expenses. Uh, with the Pastoral Council, uh, in the next couple of weeks, we will begin uh, having uh, some reflection on uh, restarting our Pastoral Council uh, for the new year. Uh, some old members will be coming back. We'll be opening up uh, elections uh, for self-domination for new members, um, a few from each parish. Uh, we're working on the final numbers right now. Uh, there will be more information in the bulletins coming forward, so please keep your eye out. I encourage everyone to consider that, and uh, if we have enough people uh, for self-nomination, we'll just take those. If we have an abundance of people, then we'll have to go to some type of runoff. But again, all that information will be forthcoming in the next couple weeks. Uh, it is that time of year. Uh, we're in August. Uh, it's that time to start thinking of RCIA. If anybody who's out there is not Catholic or is uh, wanting more information about becoming Catholic or needs sac sacraments such as the Eucharist or confirmation of those sacraments of initiation, uh, this is a time that we can uh, have some conversation and uh, look at moving forward uh, this season in the RCIA uh, to Easter for those sacraments of initiation. Uh, the first day of religious ed is Sunday, August 28th uh, at 8.30 at St. Michael's Church. Uh, there will be more information coming in the next few weeks. Uh, please just consult your bulletin. Just a little heads up there, though, that August 28th is the first day of class for CCD. Thank you so, so much for all of your prayer, all of your help as we are in this period of transition. We, once again, do send our condolences out at the death of Father Stephen, who was the pastor of Four City and Pleasant Bount. Um, with that whole being, uh, Father Rune is taking over uh, when he gets back from vacation on August 8th. But we'll still be uh, one big happy family, helping in any way that we can. So please play, pray for Father Rune, pray for the people of Four City and St. Catherine Drexel, and pray for the us here in Carbondale as these transitions still take on effect. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope you're enjoying these last few days of summer uh, and we enjoy uh, getting back into the swing of things and looking forward to the next upcoming year. May God bless you and keep you. Have a wonderful day.